Oi guys, it's Danny here today, bring you like, a lovely video. In today's video, we're going to take a look at a very, very strange looking derivative. The derivative of sine to the power of 1 million x. What's that equal to? Right, before we jump into it, I want you like, to leave a like and subscribe. So, the idea here, it looks very overwhelming, I must say. But it is not complicated to solve, rather. It's actually very, very straightforward and simple to solve. And the way we need to do it is, it's a simple chain rule. So what you are going to need to do is apply the chain rule. And the chain rule basically states that your exponent here is a million, right? That's going to basically appear into the front of this equation. And then you are going to have an exponent, which is going to be subtracted by one. So a million minus one is going to be equal to, you know, nine 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 six nines right so you know that's basically it. and then you just have to take according to the chain rule the derivative of the inner portion in this case the inner bracket inner fraction is sine x therefore what's the derivative of sine x that's just equal to cos x and really this here is the answer but the idea is the same let's say i decide to use a different number let's say ten thousand, or even rather one billion the idea the principle is the same if a sign to the power of some n term x right so therefore you are going to just basic you're just applying a simple chain rule given by this formula and you know the derivative of sine of x is going to be equal to cos x and really this is what you're doing so you know, this could be a simple, a most simple way of putting it, you know, or memorizing it is, you know, you substitute any number here, basically, let's say if it was five, you would put a five over here, and then you do five minus one, which is four, and it'd be sine to the power of four. You can have any n term, you know, this is, this is basically valid for any n term. So that's the idea for this. So if you like enjoyed this video and this has helped you, you know, please drop a like and, and subscribe. I know these types of questions, when you look at them, could look very challenging and overwhelming, but they're very simple sometimes. It's just a simple chain rule or some simple technique that we learn in calculus. So if you like enjoyed this video, please drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you later.